Welcome back guys, welcome to the part 4 of the series where I tried to make a short film. Again, if you want any context, you can go and watch the previous videos, but this is the part 4 we're going to be talking about scripting. I know I haven't uploaded for almost a month now, but uh, I was kind of busy. I also wanted to update you guys uh, what has happened in this past one month where I did not upload anything. So uh, there are a few things that were going on with regards to the short film and I just want to explain it to you guys. And I did not document any of it because it is a very regional specific thing. Most of the things are very regional specific so it will differ from different region to region but I'll just let you know what tasks have been completed over this one month period. But yeah, anyways, first let's talk about today's topic that is scripting. Now, scripting is the part of this whole filmmaking process which I am not very much excited about most of the times because writing a script was one of the things that I felt kind of meh about. I've always been more interested towards the visual side of filmmaking like shooting, editing and all that stuff but writing just didn't seem like my thing. But now that has changed a little bit. I'm being completely honest here, scripting kind of surprised me in the best way possible. Once I got into it, I found out that it's more than just writing down dialogue on paper. It's more like you're creating a blueprint for your entire film. And it is a place where your ideas really come to life. Now, in the beginning, I had no idea where to start. Uh, it felt kind of forced. Like, I knew what I wanted to show on the screen, but writing that down, that felt like a whole different ball game, to be honest. And I learned pretty quickly that there's more to script writing than what meets the eye. It's not just about the dialogue, although that is important. It's about building the world, creating compelling characters, and making sure the story flows. And trust me, it takes time. It can feel frustrating when it doesn't click right away. As I kept at it, things started to click. I found out that scripting is about finding your flow. I started with simple outlines, breaking my story scene by scene. Instead of worrying about writing the perfect dialogue or action right away, I just focused on getting my ideas on paper. The more I wrote, the more comfortable I got. And I started to really enjoy this process. It's like every time I wrote a scene, it felt like I was trying to put different pieces of a puzzle together. And watching the story take a shape was really, really exciting. One thing that helped a lot was learning from others. I started reading scripts from some of my most favorite movies and TV shows. It kind of gave me an insight on how professionals structure their story, how they write descriptions and how they make their characters feel real. I also looked into some basic screenwriting uh, books and videos. There's literally so much material out there that you can watch and once I started writing down, I realized that scripting is like anything else, you require practice. You're not going to write the perfect script in your first try and that's alright. Now I understand why people say that scripting is the backbone of filmmaking. It's where your ideas become tangible. When you write, you're not just telling a story. You're planning the shots, creating a mood, setting the tone. Every decision that you take while you're writing the script will affect the final product. And without a strong script, even the most stunning visuals won't hold up. And the best part? Well, you are in control of every scene or every action that takes place. You get to shape your characters, you get to build tension, and craft those moments that will stay with your audience for a long, long time. So before we go ahead with the video, I just quickly want to show you guys this cool website that I've been using to write this script for my entire short film. So uh, this website is called as writerdoit.com. Uh, you can use this website to make an account, sign up with whatever you want, and you can get up to three scripts for free. So if you want to go above three scripts, then uh, you're gonna have to pay for the pro version, but, uh, Three scripts is a pretty good amount if you're just starting out. So you guys can visit this website and check it out. Uh, I'll just show you really quickly how to use this website. It's a really cool website. And my entire script for the short film has been written through or has been written using this website, uh, which has helped me to make it in the industry format. So here, as you guys can see, I've opened up a example script. Uh, it is a part from my actual script of the short film. So this is a news report from the movie, a script for a news reporter. And as you guys can see, you can add uh, things like a scene. So if you just click on scene, uh, 
it will uh, go into scene or say if i want to add another scene i just go down and i click on scene and i will type in scene 2 and whatever i want to name it so everything just goes under that scene now this is really cool because you don't have to format your stuff you just click on whether whatever you're writing is is it a scene or an action or a character or you can add parentheses uh, for that particular sentence or it's a dialogue and it will automatically format everything based on what you have selected so i've been using this website for my short film i'll just show you guys a glimpse of uh, the final script and I'll also link the script down in the description if anyone wants to read it, you guys can just open the link and uh, go ahead and read the script. But yeah, I'll just go to open project. That's when dead are open. So as you guys can see, this is my final script and you guys also get a title page, which is something like this. So you guys can have the title of your movie written by me and a mayor and then a few of your details down below. And then if you go back to your document, you get into your uh, actual script. So as you guys can see, this is the script for the movie and it is properly formatted. And this really helps out the actors to read their stuff. And it kind of, you know, separates the different things that are included in a script, say like scene or an action or a dialogue. And it visually distinct. It's easily uh, distinguishable because uh, every sentence or every uh, element of the script looks different. So if it's a dialogue, it will be in the center of the page. And if it's an action, it will have margins on the side and it will be in italics or bold. You can decide what you want to do, but that's how it works. And uh, it has this this website has been really helpful just suggested by one of my supervisors and also one of my friend whom i worked on his short film uh a few months ago so yeah you guys can check writers do it out it's free three scripts are free uh make use of it and it will also give you an idea of how the format how the industry format works so yeah that's pretty much it moving on so if you're a beginner and you have just started writing scripts like me uh here are a few things that i've noted down while i wrote the script for my short film that i feel might be helpful for you guys the first thing is start with an outline don't try to perfect every line right away get your story down in a rough outline first and then fill in the details secondly write without fear you don't have to worry about writing something good in your first try the actual magic happens when you rewrite what you have already written down thirdly i would say learn from others read a few scripts watch interviews with other filmmakers or writers and absorb as much as you can i feel like this really helps to come up with great ideas and also it inspires you and finally i would say that keep it simple you don't have to unnecessarily complicate things Focus Focus on the story that you really want to tell and then build up from that. And trust me, if I can do it, I bet you guys can too. Scripting is something that can feel kind of intimidating in the first, but once you get into it, then you'll start to enjoy it. It's all part of a creative process. So before I end this video, I just want to update you guys with at what stage the production is at or at what stage the pre-production process is at so the dates for the shoot are going to be in the last week of october the exact dates would be 28 to 31st so that's the four days that is when we are going to shoot uh i have finalized the actors i'm yet to finalize just one actor which is the news reporter one uh but that is also almost 70 percent done which is a good thing because i have to shoot the news reporter part prior to the actual shooting dates because the news report is going to be playing in the movie so i'm done with the locations as well uh and the main reason why i did not document all of this or i did not show it to you guys is basically because there's a lot of paperwork that happens and most of it is just paperwork you know meetings and paperworks with my supervisor and it's not the most interesting thing to show and also it is very regional specific like 
since I'm in the UK, it is different for me. If you're staying somewhere else or if you're staying in India or any other country, it will be different for every person. So that is why I decided I would not document the entire process to upload it on YouTube. But yeah, I am pretty much around 70% done with the pre-production i do have a meeting with the actors today so that meeting is just to clarify any of the doubts or queries that the actors might have but yeah once that is done everything should be clear and uh, i'll be pretty much finishing the pre-production and getting ready for the actual production of the movie so yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update because it's been a month i haven't updated you guys on where the whole process is so yeah that's it. So that's all for today. I'm still learning as I go, but I'm excited to keep improving my script and see where it goes. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.